Okay, again, welcome back. So, we'll continue with our uh, lesson with lesson 8. So, uh, finding, calculating the probability of type 2 error. So, for this one, you need to do the C calculation for the C test. So, you know that your uh, HO is equal uh, to mu equals mu not, and your H1 is mu is not equal to mu not. Done? Uh, suppose that the null hypothesis is false and the true value of the mean is equal to mu plus delta. So, yung delta natin is the difference between the uh, actual mean value to your uh, calculated mu value. So, the test statistic will, uh, using C test for just this one, getting the probability between your C value with the uh, plus negative uh, delta square root ng N over mu, and ganun din yung sa kabila. So, you just do the calculation. For two-side alternative, you can uh, use this one to determine the number of sample size, kung sample size naman ha, yung hahanapin natin, based from, uh, if we want to improve the probability of your type 2 error. Okay, so for uh, one-sided, you can use this one. So, ang kaibahan lang nila ay yung alpha over 2 at saka yung uh, alpha lang for the single uh, one-sided alternative hypothesis. So, let's have this example. Consider the rocket propellant in the problem yung kanina sa mean value with known variance. The true burning rate is 49 centimeter per second, which is yung mu natin is 50. Find beta for the two-side test with alpha of 0 0.05 and this is your standard deviation and the number of samples. Okay, so the date delta is equal to 1 which is the, the difference between the actual which is 49 and our mean value na uh, in assign which is 50. And our z calculated for the 0 0.05 is 1.96. So, from the equation ng data, so, substitute lang lahat. So, this is uh, 1, di ba? Tulikan natin. Ito siya. So, delta square root ng n, square root ng n over sigma. So, ang sigma natin ay 2. Ito yung 2. So, calculating, which have 0.295. So, the probability is about 0.3 or the 30% that the test will fail to reject the null hypothesis when the true burning rate is 49 centimeter per second. So calculating the power, this is 1 minus beta. So the power of our statistical test is 0.74 n equals 20. Okay, for the next problem, we want to calculate the uh, number of sample needed to increase the uh, power of the statistics to 90, meaning our beta should be 0.1, okay, in the rejection of the hypothesis. Same beta, so using the formula, kanina, this one for two-sided test, we calculate your n value, so kailangan yung kunin yung z, diba, ito yung z ng uh, 1.96, c ng beta for 0.1, so you refer to your c table, so, 1.28. So, calculating the amount of sample needed is using this, this formula. And, we will obtain 42. Round up. Okay? Always round up. So, the approximate value to increase the uh, power of the statistics to 0.90, we need to have at least 42 sample. Okay? 42 sample instead of the 25 sample that we have previously. Okay, now, another <coughs> uh, test that we can do if we know the variance of your normal distribution but this is a very large sample. So, kung very large yung sample uh, of unknown, this is unknown variance, an unknown yung variance, so we can use the t-test instead of your c-test. So, the t-test is the same lang to halos nung z-test, but instead of the variance of your uh, pop 
population, we're going to use the, uh, sorry, not variance, standard deviation of the population. We'll use the standard deviation of the sample because your sample is large. And this large value is greater than 40. Okay, pag greater than 40 yung sample. So yung alternative at saka yung rejection criteria. So we need to use the t-table. So please make sure that you study your t-table. Pareho lang naman siya halos nung no, no sequence. Okay? So, now, for t-table, I think my, my number of n doon, tapos alpha, yung nasa, nasa taas. Okay. So, please. Now, let's have this example. An experiment was performed which the team driver produced a particular club maker were selected at random and their coefficient of restitution measured. It is of interest that determine the evidence at 0 0.05 to support a claim that the mean coefficient of restitution exceed. So this is a one-sided hypothesis, greater than 0 0.82. These are the observed data and the sample mean and the sample standard deviation is calculated as this. The objective of this experiment is to demonstrate that the mean coefficient exceeds 0.82, hence a one-sided alternative hypothesis is approximated. So we have the seven test step procedure, parameter of interest, the mean coefficient of restitution, the null hypothesis is equal to 0.82, alternative is greater than 0.82, so this is a one-sided alternative hypothesis. So we're going to use the C-test. Because we don't know the standard deviation of your sample. So we'll reject the hypothesis if the p-value is less than 0 0.05. Or your t, diba? yung p-value, yung sa signal, yan. Uh, greater than. So t calculated is greater than to your uh, criteria or critical. Okay? So computing the p-value, so we know this. All, so substitute ni lang, makukuha nyo yung 2.72. And comparing the probability of this volume from this one, table 2, for a t-distribution with 14 degrees of freedom, we have 2.72 falls between the value of 2.624, which is the alpha is 0 0.01, and 2.97, which is alpha ay 0 0.005. So, Kita nyo, the, the p-value ng critical is 0 0.05, 0 0.05, so the p-value is between 0.1 and 0 0.05, so we will reject. Or your p-value, tingnan nyo yung p ng 0 0.05 at uh, degrees of freedom of 15, then we will, meaning, uh, there, there is a strong evidence to conclude that the mean coefficient of restitution exceed 0.82, meaning we'll reject the null hypothesis. So, calculating for type 2 error roulette, so you can use this by Hindi natin siya pagtutunan kasi hindi naman ito masyadong uh, kinukuha. Pero pag hiningan kayo ng value, you can utilize this. Okay? Now, hypothesis test on the variance and standard deviation of a normal distribution. Pag variance class, ang gagamitin natin is the chi-square test. This one, yung chi-square test, which is equal to n minus 1 test squared over uh, sigma mu squared. So, the hypothesis is that the, the variance or the standard deviation of the population is equal to your uh, target sample or your target value while the alternative is not. So, uh, paano mag-test ng hypothesis, if the null hypothesis? So, ito yung uh, ka-calculate natin. I-reject natin pag yung chi value is greater than dun sa critical or less than. Okay? So, you can use yung figure na to for your reason. So, using your chi uh, table. Okay? Hypothesis test on variance is, uh, this is for a single or one-sided alternative. So, ganun lang din, halos pareho lang, greater than or 
less than. So, ang magkakaiba lang yung alpha. This is alpha and this is alpha minus 1. Take note for chi-square test, ito yung alpha ha. Ito yung alpha, ito, ito yung kinukuha natin value. Pag tukunin nyo yung kabila, yung another test, ito yun. Okay, pag do, dalawang test, you need this both value. Okay, so let's have this one. An automated filling machine used to fill bottles with liquid detergent. 20 samples of bottle is uh, being used and filled with a volume of uh, yung required volume and obtain a standard uh, uh, variance of 0 0.0153. If the variance of the filled volume exceed 0 0.01, an acceptable proportion of bottle will be underfilled or overfilled. Is there evidence that the sample data suggests the manufacturer has a problem with underfilled or overfilled bottles? Use alpha equals 0 0.05. And assume that this is normally distributed. So, parameter of interest, same step, seven step, ay yung uh, variance of the population, null hypothesis, equal to 0 0.01. The alternative is greater than 0 0.01, so overfill or underfill. Test statistic is your chi value, your chi square. And using this formula, we will reject if the null hypothesis is greater than 0.01. 0, 0.5, So, you can pause and check kung saan ito nakuha. Okay? Pero, you can use this one dun sa kay table. Okay? So, napin nyo yun, ha? Sige. Okay. Then, we proceed with the calculation and we obtain this value, 29.07. So, comparing, this is your, your calculated compared to the critical, which is less than. So, therefore, we say that no strong evidence of a problem with incorrect field bottles, meaning we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, calculating the type 2 error for this problem, so you just get the uh, lambda, which is the ratio of your uh, sigma over sigma naught. Okay, you can use this table to calculate. So, natin yan from pretend kasi hindi naman natin uh, gagamitin halos. No. Now, uh, paano naman pag large uh, sample test on a proportion? Pag proportion, you use this alternative hypothesis, uh, this hypothesis, and this alternative hypothesis. And uh, the test is C-test, but this is the formula for the proportion. There's another uh, formula for C-value, this one. You can use this, this one for this one for test your C value. Kahit alin dyan, pwede. Okay, so let's have the example. So, automobile engine controller, a semiconductor manufacturer produced controller used in automobile engine application. The customer requires that the process fall out of fraction defective at a critical manufacturing step not exceed 0 0.05 and that the manufacturer demonstrate process capability at this level of quality using alpha 0 0.05. The semiconductor manufacturer take a random sample of 200 devices and find out that 4 out of that 200 are defective. Can the manufacturer demonstrate process capability for the customer? So, dapat not exceeding 0 0.05 yung uh, critical proportion. Okay, so we'll have the 7-step hypothesis, parameter of interest, the proportion. Of defective, the null hypothesis is that your p-value should be equal to 0 0.05 or for the alternative hypothesis, this value should be less than 0 0.05. This formulation of the problem will allow the manufacturer to make a strong claim about process capability if the null hypothesis is rejected. Okay? Then, the statistical test is your z-test using the proportion. So, we we'll use this formula where... Uh, we obtain this value, yung 4 for the defective and for the sample and the PO is 0 0.05. We'll reject if the p-value is less than 0 0.05. So, calculating c-value, determining the probability, this is uh, one-sided, so p less than, so probability ng nasa left, sa left siya, less than is 0 0.02. 
0.56, so this is less than 0 0.05, therefore we will reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the process fraction defective P is less than 0 0.05. Right? We conclude that the process is capable. Okay, so another test, so this one is for the beta calculation. This is for the calculation of the mean uh, number of samples for two sides and n side. If you want to increase the beta, same lang din siya. So, na natin yan. Nagpisa na natin. Okay. Goodness of fit is ganun din. So, for chi-square value. So, kung madami. So, uh, I leave this to you. Hindi naman to lalabas dun sa isa. Okay. So, yan yung hypothesis test. So, we end here. And uh, we'll proceed with lesson 9.